What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing Chapter 4, Problem 15 in the Fundamentals of Physics textbook, 8th edition by Gerald Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 4 is all about motion in two and three dimensions. And in Problem 15, we have a cart and we're told the initial velocity in the X and Y and we are told the acceleration in the X and Y, and we are asked to find the velocity when this cart is at its maximum Y value. So we can use the kinematics equation, velocity final in the Y is equal to velocity initial in the Y plus the acceleration Y T. And since the cart is at its maximum Y value, there's not going to be any velocity in the Y direction, so our final Y velocity is zero. And then we can rearrange this for T and say T is equal to negative V0Y over A. And we have both of those values, so we can plug them right in. Negative 12 meters per second over negative 2 meters per second squared. And that's going to be equal to 6 seconds. And now for our x direction, we have velocity final x is equal to velocity initial x plus axt. And we have both of these values, so we can just directly plug them in. 8 meters per second plus 4 meters per second squared times our time, which we just found up here, 6 seconds. And when you plug that into your calculator, this is equal to 32 meters per second. And so since we have no final velocity in the y direction, all of our velocity is in the x direction. So when the cart reaches its maximum y value, the velocity is going to be equal to 32 meters per second. Or you could say the velocity vector is equal to 32 meters per second i hat plus 0 meters per second j hat. So that's it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like. Leave a comment if you have a question about something I did or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.